welcome back this uni crew. It's Chanel. So, coming on to be nosy like always. You already know how it go. Seeing this lady uh, video on YouTube where she used a clear HTV vinyl and she sublimated on it. Uh, you know I'm nosy. I gotta find out. And then I had kind of forgot about it. Ran across it again on TikTok. I'm like, yeah, that's my sign. So I, I tried to get them from my store. My store didn't have them. So I ordered two. They're not here yet. And I happened to go to Memphis today. Olive Branch had some, y'all. Yeah, I know your girl had to go ahead and get it. So I got two coming anyway. I hope it ain't a waste of money. We're going to find out today. So I'm going I'm to try two techniques. You know, I'm nosing. So I'm also use this white on the dark with this on top. And I'm going to use the clear. I know the clear is going to work. I've seen people do it. I, I don't know the time or the temps. You know I'm paying attention. I just kind of see some shit and run. So that's what I did. Um, I'm going to practice with my temps myself. So I'm going to cut my image. I'm doing my logo. Yes, hunty. And I'm going to do it two ways. I'm going to do one with the clear. One with the white and the clear. So I'm going to do the dark uh, with the both and then the white with the clear. So, yeah. Let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and cut my image out and I'm going to do a shadow. Um, so you'll print your image, like you'll clean your image of your choice and you will layer it. Then you will go to where it say print and you'll go to no fill to make it a shadow cut. And then that way you'll have it you know, right way. But you have to flip it both of them horizontal because it is going to be sublimation. So make sure you flip your image horizontal. All right, let's get started. I'm going to cut my images and I'm going to come back. Okay, guys, I was super duper excited. I forgot to show you the packaging. So, yes, you got to get clear sparkle HTV. It says shine on. You get it from Michael's Arts and Craft Store. It's like it's not on sale. It's like twenty two dollars right now. So yes, make sure y'all look for the clear sparkle, not sparkle. They got all kinds that say sparkle, but you want clear. And we're going to do the white HTV. So we'll do that. You can get both of them from Michael's, and I will insert a picture showing the sizing. Yes, yes, get started. Okay, Unicrow, I got everything cut out. This one here is the light transfer. I noticed when I cleaned my picture, one of my earrings was missing, but it is what it is. Like I said, this is a trial error. We're just going to try that thing. So we're going to get us a white shirt and a color shirt. This is how the clear looks. It looks like this. It's got like a shimmer to it. And then I got my image of my choice. And I'm going to get two shirts. Okay. So I got a white medium shirt of my choice. And of course, you know, I had to get yellow boo because that's my color, honey. So yeah, we're going to get started with that. I did make a mistake and print this little part on the bottom and I didn't need that part. So I'm going to have to cut that. Hopefully everything will line up right. But if not, then it is what it is. Another thing, uh, when I was cutting the clear... It is super tough. So I would I cut it on a higher level. I end up cutting it on regular iron on it first and it didn't cut out, period. It just like lined it or something. So I put it on heavy card stock pretty much. Um so yeah, make sure y'all cut it on a higher setting in order for it to really work. So we're gonna get started. I want to do you know what? I didn't cut out two of these. I need two of the clear. Because I'm going to put one of them clears on top of um, the white. So let me cut out another clear. Okay, so I'm back. Now, I normally, after, you know, one time I did a um, layer and then somebody told me to find the shrinks because my stuff wasn't layered up right. And so I usually just pull off the vinyl. finger down on it and try to uh, pull it without ripping it because you know your girl's hands is heavy so right now just that little piece 
alone came up from the plastic. You can't see it for real. I really can't. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna just hold it down and try to pull without ripping. I'm gonna do the white first. Hopefully, everything lined up right there. that, hey, we know better next time. So I'm gonna do the medium first. Got a medium shirt here. It don't make no sense. You can use your lint roller. Like I said, I don't know mine at. Don't come for me. I don't feel like looking for it. I just wanna see if this is gonna work. So, I'm gonna press the moisture. And she said, uh, said don't press too long or something like that she said because the paper will get stuck i'm praying it don't because baby first time trying it and it looks like it's gonna be a problem for it to lay down anyway it's like it's rolling up so i might not be able to get my picture lined up right we're still gonna try that thing we don't know the shirt even or nothing It's gonna, it's gonna be a problem. Period. I did do two different kind of prints too, so they might have a little something to do with it. We just gonna roll that thing. Shit, fuck it. We just gonna see. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. How long to press the thing? I don't know. We gonna find out today though. I know she said don't press too long. And I am using a sub paper, and I, ooh, I just don't know, honey. So we just gotta try. Let's see. Okay. So I feel like this type of stuff need to cool. So yeah. Uh, feel like I need to let it cool, but then it's like. I don't know. Should I let it cool? Looks like it's stuck. That was like a hot too. No cap. Okay. Yeah. It's enough for me. Alright. Maybe I didn't do it. Uh, maybe need less time. Let's see. Maybe I did too much. And she told my ass do not. Let that paper stay down too long. So yeah, um, I don't know what I did. She said don't press it on. Maybe I pressed it entirely too long. She didn't give out no, no times, no nothing. And you know I don't mind doing my own little homework on it, but I listen, but I don't listen. I'm just one of them people. I'm just very impatient. I really want to see. But so far, it looks like trash. So we're just gonna move on to the next one. We're gonna let this dry because I ain't got no patience to be pulling no paper all night. At this point, I am having problems with everything. So I had to get another image because I done ripped the head off of it and I'm about to rip this one up. So we're gonna try this one a tad different. This time I'm going to press the white first. Just to see. Is it is is a big difference? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so we're just gonna press it first. <laughs> My heat press is up to three ninety nine, so I didn't press it all the way down like you know I should have, but I pressed it enough to me. Now we're just gonna try to line the thing up. It is what it is. We're just gonna press it. <laughs> Press it long enough. Okay, so we got the clear on there. Okay, y'all. Oh, I'm nervous. I don't know how long to press this thing, but I thought this was an adult shirt. It's actually a youth. I don't get many youth orders, so this is just like it is what it is for practice. At this point, I have my paper.
so I'm just going to put it down, try to line it up. Got the kinks later. So, I'm scared because I don't know what, how long I need it down. So, I can probably peek after my six seconds is up. Should I? Still got stuck though. I don't think it make a difference. Somebody's like, don't press it too long, your paper gets stuck. Shit. Like everything won't come up. Should probably let this shit cool. Like, I really don't think it matters how long I press or how less I press because it's still giving me like this old dull matte look. And I could be tripping. I didn't press it on. And I'm gonna play with the rest of them that I messed up too. See, I can't tell y'all. Put it out of the head. I don't wanna come out here. Put your ass about here. Mm -hmm. Zombie. Yeah, so yeah, it's like a trashy look too. Maybe I'm not doing something right. I'm just gonna keep practicing. I feel like I I ordered two of them, so it better work some kind of way. I just spent money, and y'all know size is not cheap. So we're gonna play a little, little bit. That one almost looked like it wanted to do something though. Like, because I didn't press longer in certain areas, it didn't do right. But, you're gonna play with that. I'm telling you, I gotta play with it because something ain't right. This is something wrong. Maybe my temps are up too high. That could be possibly it. So, I'm gonna turn my temp, I'm gonna turn my heat press off. And I'm gonna let it cool down. And I'm gonna mess with the pieces. I'm gonna just cut random pieces. And all uh, the pieces I messed up on my image, I'ma just cut random pieces out of it. And then we're just gonna press at different temps. I'ma turn my heat back on um, when I think it'll cool down. But yeah, this is sucky. So maybe because it was too high. But it was almost there. Maybe I didn't press long enough. But I, then again, I don't feel like that had nothing to do with it because over here looks bad. Mm, over here looks bad. But the little flower and stuff almost came vibrant. So I just got to figure that out. Maybe it didn't get much press time or something. Yeah, we're going to play with that thing. We're going to play with this clear again. Let's see. I'm just gonna already messed the shirt up. Ain't no more we can do to it. You know, I'm gonna put some random pieces on that thing. Okay. Let's see. So, I got a random piece here, and I'm just gonna press that on there. I didn't even read no temps or nothing, y'all. I might need to go get a thing out of the garbage can and read some temps on that. So maybe I'm not pressing the clear down long enough. Maybe I'm pressing it too much. But right here, it looks like it's on. So it's almost like a laminate to me where you want it to look like it's in the material. So I think I'm going to let it cool. Instead of pressing it while it's hot, I'm going to let it cool first. Then I'm going to press the image on there. Then that might actually make a difference, y'all. So I'm going to let it cool. I promise you I'm going to let it get cold, cold. And I'm going to come back. Okay, guys. So it is cold. 
And it just looked like a little shiny something on here. Feel like vinyl, don't feel too bad. So, I'm just gonna press this on here. I wonder what made them come up with this. So we're just gonna pray about this thing. And we're just gonna press. I don't think I should press long, uh, probably a good couple seconds. And we're just gonna try. But I don't know. It's kind of hard to, to know, you get what I'm saying? Because, yeah. Let it go some more. Even though the pepper had like a warm to come up, maybe because I let it cool and it wasn't so hot, but I don't know, y'all. Yeah. We're just trying. I'm just trying. I'm going to figure it out, though, because I think this will be a game changer for sure. And my heat, the grace is still super hot. So. Okay, that's a lot better. So, I would say let it cool first and then try to um, sublimate. Look at that. That's a whole lot better, right? It looks totally, totally different. Look at that. So, you know your girl knows it. So, I got to try it with the, um, the white and the clear again. So, I'm going to cut a little piece and just cut a little piece off my um, image that broke. And we're just going to rub that thing. I don't have to probably both cool in order for it to work. I noticed that. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just cut, um, press, let it um, cool or whatever. So, temp is still at three something. So, I wonder if we let it go all the way down to um, a lower temp with it work. But I don't want to find out. So, I'm going to press the white on here first. I'm gonna turn it back down. It's on 352 right now, but I'm gonna turn the heat press back off. My heat press gets super hot. I'm gonna move that out the way, and I'm just gonna press this little area here. I'm gonna press it. First. Okay, so I'm gonna just press this. Even though I don't think you have to let this one particularly cool, but I think everything needs to be cool because it seemed like it was too hot. Maybe I had the heat up too hot. I'm learning, y'all, and this is how I learn, so don't come for me. Oh, yeah. Just let this cool off. I'm just taking it from under the heat press and let it get cold, cold. And then I'm going to press the clear onto it, then let that get cold, cold, and then we're going to come back. Okay. So it really don't take it long to get cool at all. Look, so now we're going to do the clear. And I'm just gonna put a random piece on there. I didn't cut nothing fancy or nothing. We just playing right now. At this point, it don't even matter no more. I'm just gonna press it. So, same as before. I'm just gonna let it cool. And then I'm not gonna turn my heat press back on until after we press the image on there because it's still kind of hot. I can tell you what temp it might be still up by. Let's see. So uh, 328. So the, the temp is still hot. But yeah, my, my phone had stopped, y'all. But I got the image on top of the clear and white, and I had let it cool. So hopefully this don't stop. I don't know what's going on with my phone. Okay, a whole lot better. A whole lot better. So I would say, let it cool. Colors are not popping, popping. They look kind of dull, but I mean like, it don't hurt like to try. You know what I mean? It's not bad, bad. So, yeah. Y'all make sure y'all come in, like, and subscribe on your girl's channel. Let me know what you think I should have did different. This one here is with the white and the clear. This one is just with the clear by itself. That's the first one I did, and I guess I had the tempo too high. And I didn't let both of them cool or something. 
But hey, we know now. We're going to keep practicing. But whoever thought of that, man, that was good. Y'all have a blessed one.